Oh, hello. Oh. Well, this is fun. Let me move my books out of the way. Um, this is a little random for me to be filming at this hour. It's like 10 o'clock, but I got a notification from a concierge and they're like, you've got mail. And then I was like, what could be arriving? And a package from Lush arrived. So I was just gonna open it up and kind of go through it. But then I was like, wait, why don't I film it? You guys always are asking for more Lush videos. I have a couple of restocks and some favorites that I wanted to chat through, but also I have a couple of seasonal items as well. So I figured we could just kind of go through it to a nice old school Jacqueline kind of Lush video. But before we get started, I do want to thank today's video sponsor, Squarespace. I know you hear me talk about Squarespace all the time, and that's because I genuinely love them, and that's what I use to run my website. Squarespace really is an all-in-one platform that helps you build your online presence and helps you run your business. So you can head to squarespace.com slash Jacqueline Forbes, get 10% off your first purchase, but we'll chat a little bit more about Squarespace later. Okay, where to begin? Now, there's something about a Lush package. They just really stuff it to the brim, so it doesn't look like it's... I mean, that has actually... I lie, that's a pretty pretty large and in charge package. Also, I'm not sure if this intense ring light is, is showing this on camera or not, but I have this hilarious pimple patch. It's in like the shape of a star. And I just feel so chic wearing my pimple patches now. First at the top, we have a body spray. Actually, there's two body sprays here. I feel like in my Lash Lush video, which was a shop with me, I think, I'll have that linked up above. Um, but I just kind of fell back in love with Lush body sprays. I think they're so incredible. They come in these packages that look kind of like a Windex like a spray bottle, so it looks a little shocking, but their body sprays are just so good. And like, ugh. There is honestly something about, I know people either like say they love it or they hate it, but there's something so distinct about when you like walk into a mall and you can just smell a Lush. And for me, it's very nostalgic. It just reminds me of all of my teenage years and when I was younger and I just love the smell of Lush. So if I can get a spray fragrance that makes me smell like that, I'm never mad about that. So I got the comforter here, which I don't think I've ever had in body spray form before, but the comforter is just like a really popular kind of like fruity black currant um, very quintessential Lush kind of smell body spray. Definitely very like fruity and more of like a summery scent. Not super fall or seasonal, but I just kind of needed it in my life. And then I also got a restock of avocado co-wash. Avocado co-wash is just the most incredible citrusy uplifting smelling spray. This is definitely one of my most used body sprays of like the last batch and I already ran out of it. So that's definitely saying a lot. I'm actually surprised. I like this more well, I don't want to say liked it more. I used it more than Yuzu and Coco, which Yuzu and Coco is one of my favorite smells, but I just found me reaching for this a lot more and I would even use it as like a room spray and just kind of like refresh some of my jackets with it and it just smells so fire. So super glad that I've got that back in my life. Now, of course, y'all know I love me some seasonal Lush products. So I've got a seasonal bubble bar here. This is the Snow Fairy Roll. This actually looks very similar to the Comforter Bubble Bar, which is like that super popular swirly one. But this one is in the bubble gummy, very childlike candy floss kind of smell, which I know there's a lot of Snow Fairy haters out there, but it is such an iconic Christmas scent. And I go through phases of like being obsessed with it because I used to love this as a kid. So it just, again, it's one of those nostalgic products. But also I feel like I talk about this all the time as well. My mother loves this scent and whenever she's over at my house, she always finds her way in my Lush stash. So I have a feeling she might steal this. So mama, this one's for you. Okay, next up, ooh, we got a little Halloween bath bomb here. This is the Monster Ball, I believe it's called. This is a recurring Halloween one and I just really remember liking it when I had it last time. I think there's some neroli in this one, so it's kind of uplifting, kind of like a fruity, citrusy kind of scent. It's not like a pumpkin spice kind of Halloween scent, if that makes any sense. But I honestly just think it's super cute. It also has like a little candy eyeball. I don't know. I just like the vibe. And you know what? Especially as these colder months roll around, this is what I'm in the tub a lot more. So I love to throw in a bath bomb or a bubble bar. But you know what's really weird? I will say, I feel like I've kind of like changed a little bit in terms of my bath preferences. I mean, I've been a huge Lush fan for so long and I used to always say bath bombs were my favorite because bath bombs are more like Epsom salts and of course they have a lot of aromatherapeutic benefits as well and like different, you know, benefits depending on which product it is or which bath bomb it is. But the bubble bar, I was always like, oh, it just kind of creates bubbles. Like there's less benefits, I guess, to using a bubble bar. Bubble bar, bubble bar, <laughs> bubble bar. I feel like I'm slurring my words when I say that bubble bar. But you know what, lately I've been loving the bubble bar. So I might be switching out on y'all. I didn't think I'd be this kind of girl, but I think bubble bars might be my new favorite, dare I say. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys have a preference or do you like always add both? Ooh, there's so many fun Christmassy items in here. 
What is on your Christmas wish list? What should I have gotten? I feel like I've kind of been out of the loop of like all the new releases. I feel like I'm not as up to date with all of them as I used to be. Like I used to be able to tell you every single name, every single ingredient at any new launch. Whereas I feel like now I'm much more like a leisurely shopper. Like if something catches my eye or I see an old favorite, I'll go for it. This one here is Golden Wonder. This is an old favorite of Lush. This is like the most glittery, there's like gold luster all over it. And this makes your bath look like mermaid water because it actually goes this amazing teal color because it has like a teal core bath bomb in it. So definitely a very beautiful like gift, very seasonal. The smell of this actually I really like though. I think it's the Celebrate scent, which is like their citrusy, kind of like mimosa, like orange and champagne kind of smell. So definitely very luxurious, but also very uplifting, which I actually find really useful, especially like midwinter if it's like miserable outside and it's dark by 5 p.m. and I just need like a little pick-me-up. This one's a good one to go for. And honestly, I just feel very expensive using it because it makes your bath literally look like shimmering gold, mermaid, turquoise energy. I don't know, I just really enjoy that one. <laughs> Gonna wipe my hands off in the packing peanuts. <laughs> okay, next up we got a little butter bear here. This is like a little bear bath bomb. It's actually the butterball scent, just like in a little bear format for Christmas time. But butterball is just such a classic bath bomb. I always say if you're gonna get a gift for someone and you don't really know what scents they like, or you don't wanna like overwhelm or stress them out because Lush definitely has very distinct like fragrances. And um, this one is just like a very nice neutral, I feel like non-divisive one. It's just like this light kind of vanilla. There's lots of shea butter and cocoa butter inside, so it kind of makes your bath a bit creamy, so really good for the colder months. Um, but yeah, this is always like a very good beginner bath bomb. That being said, it doesn't make your water like look like anything magical or crazy, but it's just kind of like a good, nice smelling, enjoyable bath bomb. Next up, this is Snowman Dreaming Bath Bomb. I don't even remember what this was, if I'm honest. Oh wait, this is so cute. Wow, guys, sorry, this like camera is not working with me right now. Come on, please, focus on the stupid bath bomb. There we go. Is that, is that focus? I don't know, whatever. Anyways, it's a little snowman. Guys, I'm really struggling. My foot's falling asleep and this lighting is horrendous, so I apologize. Um, anyways, this is a little bath bomb. Oh, there's my dishwasher going off. Thank you. Thank you. This actually smells a little more like spicy and like there's like nutmeg in there. What is that? Or is that like a peppermint? I can't even tell honestly right now. I forget why I picked this one out. Something about this like description caught my eye. Um, oh, I anticipated it'll look kind of cool in the water though. I guess we'll have to see, stay tuned. I'm always doing little uh, demos of my bath water over on my Instagram story. So if you don't follow me on there, Jacqueline Forbes, go follow, go watch all these products in action. Next up, oh, oh I forgot that I ordered this, wow. Thank you, past Jacqueline. This is the Lord of Misrule bath bomb. This is one of my favorite holiday, Halloween, Christmas bath bombs for a reason. The smell of this is so good. It's like a mix of sweet and spicy, savory and sweet. It's got vanilla, patchouli, black pepper oil. So it is just like the most addictive smell to me. I can't explain it. So There's a ghost in my house. Did you guys just hear that? Please don't kill me. We're just gonna ignore that. It's a super addicting smell to me. Like, I just feel like I, I can't get enough of it. And there's really no other place that does a fragrance like this. Like, it's such a unique smell to me. But what I also really like about this is that it makes your bath water literally look like red wine. I think I read a description once that said, this bath bomb makes you feel like you're bathing in the blood of your enemies, which, interesting statement, but I can't say they're wrong. Yeah, 10 out of 10, super excited that this one is back. It is truly a classic. If you haven't tried it, you need to. It's just, it's very, very good. That's my review. Very good. <laughs> Next up, we got another bath bomb here. This is very Halloween, Halloween themed. It's a little jack-o'-lantern. You know, this actually reminds me of, um, what was that foot cream that Lush had? The peppermint, is it called like something teeth? No. What was that foot cream called? You had like a peppermint foot cream. I'm completely blanking on the name, but this actually kind of smells like that, even though it's not straight up just peppermint. I almost smell like a bit of like cinnamon bark in there. Oh, it's maybe like clove in there. That could be it. Definitely a bit more spicy and like smells kind of like an evening scent, very Halloween themed and kind of exactly what you'd expect for a Halloween bath bomb, which I like. 
Next up, I've got, oh, I'm so excited for this one. This is called I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. And this is a new bath bomb. I've never seen this one before. Oh my God, wait, she's so cute. Okay, this is absolutely the cutest little bath bomb I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, it looks like a little hungry, hungry hippo. Oh, whoa. Whoa, I almost dropped that. Wow, this actually smells super fruity. It smells kind of like the blackberry bath bomb. I wonder if that's what this actually is. Actually, I would almost put my money on it that this is the blackberry bath bomb, just in like a different shape. Super good, very fruity, not like a Christmassy kind of like warming scent at all, more of like an uplifting spring scent, if anything. Oh my God, no, you know what it is? I think it's plum rain. You know the plum rain shower gel that they do? Oh, that's what this is. Okay, next up, this is the Bath Art Bath Bomb 2020. Oh, ew, I don't think that name's right. Bath Art Bath Bomb, I think this was called like the bat. Oh, that's what it's called, uh, duh, bat art bath bomb. This is why I should put my glasses on. Wow, this literally is a sparkly black little bat. This looks very cute. Wait, am I just getting like nose blind because this smells exactly like the hippopotamus one. It smells like plum rain again to me. That can't be right. It's very fruity. Oh, I love it. Okay, I'm kind of confused. That smells exactly like the hippopotamus to me but like in a really good way. Excited to see if this turns my bath water literally dark black. Um, I'll probably have a really fun time cleaning up this one. So stay tuned for that. What else do we have in here? Oh, okay, I was super excited for this one. I was reading this on the website and I was like, oh, this just sounds very like interesting to me. It's called Orange, it's a shower scrub. And it says, add a little citrus to your day with the citrus sea salt butter. So I am a huge fan of physical exfoliants, especially on my body. And I feel like I could use literally an exfoliant on my body every single day and my skin would be loving it. And yeah, I just love the way that they feel. I've always been a huge fan of Luscious Shower Scrubs. I've used like Rub Rub Rub, Ocean Salt. I actually just finished the Cookie Dough Scrub and I love uh, Magic Crystals. So I feel like I've tried almost every single one. Oh my God, yeah, this one's so good. It's very exactly what you'd expect. It's an orange smelling scrub. The texture actually looks very similar to Rub Rub Rub. It looks like a very like small granular kind of salt scrub. What's actually in this? Yeah, a bunch of fresh sea salt, lemon, orange juice, Sicilian red mandarin oil, tangerine, bergamot, orange peel wax. Okay, so like basically all of the citrus fruits in one scrub. Mm, I feel like this would be so good to do, especially like before shaving your legs or something. Oh my God, my foot is completely numb. Like I can't even explain to you. Oh my God. The feeling of like pins and needles in your foot literally feels like how static sounds. It's like actually from the kneecap down to the foot. Like it's a shocking amount of limb. Okay, I'm just gonna stay down here. I don't think I can return to that uh, position I was sitting in. Next up we have a soap here. And there's no name on this one, oh no. There was actually maybe three of the new seasonal soaps that they all sounded so good. And y'all know I'm like, uh, I'm a huge soap lover from Lush. I feel like if I had to pick certain categories, my top categories would be like soap slash shower gel, shower scrubs and like lotions, and like body care, and then sprays and perfumes, which is really so interesting because obviously like I love their bath care and I use that all the time. Like I literally don't use any other type of bath care, um, but I used to be way more into the bath products, whereas now I'm way more onto like the body and fragrance products. Okay, so first off, this soap looks so beautiful. It's like this kind of jelly, lemon meringue looking soap oh my god yay oh okay this one actually I, I don't remember the name but it was like the lemon soap basically they discontinued sexy peel soap which i was so surprised because that was such a popular soap but i feel like this is sexy peel reimagined yeah this straight up just smells like lemon meringue pie mm, super good i love that love the look of it i feel like that's gonna be a good one and then i think i had some more soaps oh i think i see something Oh, I'm excited for this. Okay, this is Yognog. This is one of the Christmas items. This is called a body milk, which I think is supposed to be like the creamy version of a shower gel, like extra hydrating. And I've, you know, loved Yognog for so many years prior. It basically smells like a creme brulee, caramel, dolce de leche. Is that how you say that? Like those incredibly decadent, like caramel desserts. That's what Yognog smells like to me. Oh yeah, it's so good. Oh my God, you literally will smell like the most insane baked good. And that's kind of how I want to smell at all times. Like I want to smell like a baked good or like I just 
baked a batch of cookies. That is insane. There's literally no other way to describe this than just like caramel mouth-watering goodness. So I'm so excited that they did this in a shower gel format because now I can get my daily dose of Yognog. And then I've got another shower gel here. Ooh, okay, I'm actually super excited for this one. I've never even like heard of this one. It's called Roasting Chestnuts on an Open Fire. Oh, I think I can, I think I've got feeling back again. I can sit. Something is happening to the left leg right now and I don't know how to, <laughs> to fix this. Honestly, the color of this really drew me in, but I think the description said that it was kind of more of like that, you know, cinnamony, spicy kind of smell. Um, it has chestnut puree inside, almond oil, cinnamon, cinnamon? No, I made that up. Cedar wood, sage oil, oat milk. Interesting. This one says it's a snuggly blend of soothing oat milk and chestnut puree. Oh wow, that is not at all what I expected. It's actually a very gentle scent. It's like very warming and cozy, not spicy at all. So I totally lied. Oh, I love the smell of that. Oh my God, I can imagine like a cold morning, you getting up to have like a nice hot shower. This would go so good. And I love that there's a ton of oats in there. I find oats is just, I mean, well, I love oatmeal. There's no surprise. I love eating it, but I also love a bunch of like oat products as well. I feel like it's so nice on the skin. So very excited. I feel like they're very um, on opposite spectrums. So they're both very, I guess, cozy. This is like decadent though. And this is just like soothing and gentle. And then, oh, I have, oh my God, another shower gel. Ew, I think this was an accident. Wait, now I'm confused. Yognog comes in shower gel form as well. Wait, then what is a body milk? Am I confused? Oh, wait, what am I saying? I knew this. Okay, body milk. This is um, a body lotion. What am I saying? Oh my goodness. Okay, completely disregard what I just said. The body milk is your body lotion. You use this when you're out of the shower, when you'd be putting on your body lotion. The shower gel is what you use in the shower like a shower gel. Oh, this is all sparkly and Christmassy. Okay, well now I've got a perfect combo. In the shower, out of the shower, boom. I'm gonna smell like this caramel goodness 24 seven. Okay, now this must be an accident because now I have a mini Yognog as well of the shower gel. Hmm, I mean, I don't know if I'd say this was an accident. I'm not mad about this. Okay, I've got two shower gels, amazing. And this is the very, very frightening shower gel, which was the Halloween one. And it says a sweet and citrusy sudser fit for a true boo Bohemians. Oh, Bohemian. But like Bohemian. You get it? Like a little boo. So this says it's got plantain inside, fine sea salt, grapefruit, bergamot, almonds, lemon juice, fig juice. So is this going to be quite a sweet one? And more citrusy? Whoa, the color of this is like kind of chaotic in the best way. Why can I not smell this? A tip that I heard is that you want to smell your own clothes or smell coffee beans and that should like reset your your nose. Oh my god, wait, I literally can't smell this. To be fair, I also feel like I'm dealing with like fall allergies right now, so I'm so congested. Okay, the very formal review is Jacqueline can't smell this one, but I anticipate it will be good. <laughs> and then another Halloween item we have here, it's the little cat bubble bar, which it's just like so cute. I feel like I have to go for it every Halloween. And the smell of this literally smells exactly like Sultana soap, which is one of my favorite soaps of all time. Very like decadent, creamy. I know in the soap there's like raisins and currants. It's just like a very like mild, but decadent, like expensive smell to me. Very fruity, but in like a nice mild, like subdued kind of way, if that makes any sense. Oh, and then this I was super excited for. This is a lip scrub. I've always loved the Lush lip scrubs. This one's in Toffee Apple, which is like a caramel apple lip scrub, which they've never done this one before. So I was like, I gotta try this one out. And this is like a crazy bright green color. Oh wow, wait, there's, it's pink at the bottom too. Wait, that's so cool. So it's like a two-tone green and kind of purpley pink. Oh, whoa, 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 that smells crazy. Oh my God, that was not what I was expecting at all. Okay, toffee apple, I imagine it to be quite apple-y, but it is straight up like toffee. And it's so weird because the color makes it look so chaotic, but it's actually super decadent. Oh my God, very much so in the family of Yognog. Whoa, that smells like honestly, offensively delicious. Insane, insane smell. Ooh, and then we've also got the candy cane lip scrub in here, which is, I'm assuming gonna smell like candy cane. 
Mm, okay, definitely pepperminty, but not like the strongest peppermint you've ever smelled. It's actually quite mild, but I imagine this will be super great, especially on the lips. Like I'm sure it will have more of like a plumping kind of cooling effect. Um, yeah, there's straight peppermint oil in here. That's gonna be good for them juicy lips. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I think that might be everything. I'm trying to remember. Okay, I think I've successfully dug around in there and I don't think there's any other items. Um, wow, what a epic haul. This is absolutely crazy. I was actually, I feel like running low on quite a few shower gels and just like essentials and like soaps and things like that. So super excited to have all these new holiday products and seasonal items in my life. Let me know down below in the comments which seasonal items you're looking forward to try or which ones you've been using already. I know we got some real Lush fans out there. I see your comments. You're always saying make a new video. So this one's for you guys. But before we go, I do want to chat to you a little bit more about our sponsor, Squarespace. So I've been using Squarespace for over a year now, and what I really love is that it really is designed for any purpose. There really are a bunch of template designs, and they support all major content types, whether it's pages or galleries, blogs, commerce, aka merch, which on a side note, I may or may not be diving into very soon, but you didn't hear it from me. Really, Squarespace is as easy to use as it gets. I'm obviously someone who has no prior experience in coding or graphic design or any of that, you know, super technical stuff. And I know for a long time, I was really intimidated to ever make a website, even though it's something that I really wanted to do. And with Squarespace, there's no worries. You don't need to be a tech wizard or a computer genius to figure it out. Their templates and their interface make it super user friendly and really can just bring all of your website dreams to life. Now, if you've been thinking about making a website for a while, this is the time to do it. Some of us have a lot more time on our hands right now, so if you've been thinking about making a website, this is your sign, do it. Head to squarespace.com slash Jacqueline Forbes and get 10% off your first purchase and have fun designing your dream website. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna honestly maybe go take a bath. Like this might be my truth right now. Um, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you hit subscribe, like, comment, Follow me on Instagram, do all the things, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.